Hey guys, welcome back. I wasn't gonna make a video today, but uh, I decided to do it while I'm having my morning coffee here before I go. So I'm gonna be updating. I'm gonna be talking about Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, Cash which are my main holdings and BitConnect, of course. But I'm gonna be talking about Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash more and then a little bit about the altcoins market. So Bitcoin, uh, I said yesterday to, to be cautious a little bit because we could have a, a pullback here and we are pulling back. In fact, uh, we went from 7,450 uh, down to 7,000. So what I think is going to happen here is that it's going to, to consolidate at some point, uh, maybe not retrace that much, uh, just consolidate before continuing higher. Now, I would not recommend uh, to buy or sell. I would just, if you are in already, just keep holding it. I am holding it. I will probably uh, look for an exit when we are getting closer from the fork. I don't think I'm going to hold through the fork. I mean, I'm going to keep some. Of course, I, I never sell everything, but I'm going to have to be, ba uh, I'm going to balance my portfolio a little bit and probably get some some bitcoin into bitcoin cash in the near future and i think i'm gonna exit um most of it before the fork maybe a couple days before or three days before the fork something like that uh we still have time to up to update on that but yeah what i can read here is that uh, bitcoin needs a rest and it will probably consolidate here before pushing higher but the reason I say I wouldn't recommend to buy the dip in this case is because even though I think it's going to go higher and maybe much higher, but percentage wise, it's already very expensive. So even if it goes to 8,000 or even 10,000, I mean, the percentage is not going to be as great as the percentage of gains that I can see, for example, in Bitcoin Cash. And so I'm going to go into Bitcoin Cash now. That was a great opportunity to buy the dip in my view. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is only what it's doing here. What I can read, at least, it's going to do like a continuation pattern. It's going to be dipping and going up and dipping again before breaking out again, um, just like Bitcoin did here. When when Bitcoin had this mega rally here, then it started like not crashing but you know going down and then up and down again and then up and down it's like a, like an equilibrium pattern it's like a continuation pattern before it breaks out again and i think that's what it's going to happen with uh, with bitcoin cash this is this what it's doing here now it's just uh doing a continuation pattern correct go back up correct a little more uh, just preparing to break out heavily that's what I can expect. So I would recommend to buy the dip on uh, on Bitcoin Cash because it's very clearly in an uptrend, as you can see here. It's been in an uptrend uh, all the way since here. So buying the dips in an uptrend, it's always a good idea. What it's not a good idea is buying the dips on a downtrend, like it's been the case of the altcoins for a long time now. So now I'm going to go into some of the main altcoins, for example, Ripple. I would be very, very careful with the altcoins because there's no proof at all that they're going, that they're going to reverse and start uptrending. In fact, look at the green volume decreasing here. These are the four hour candles for Ripple. It's so far been in a downtrend. What happens in downtrends is that you bounce, uh, you bounce touch moving average and back down. And then you get another bounce, touch moving average and bounce and continue lower. And that's what's going to happen here. By probability, it's going to touch moving average and uh, bounce off and go lower. Uh, it could change any time. We could have a reversal and a startup trending. But until it doesn't happen, you don't want to anticipate that because by probability, you're going to be wrong. By probability, you need to anticipate that the same thing is going to continue bounce off moving average and continue lower if we look at the big picture for ripple <clears throat> for example let's go to the weekly candles ripples had this super bubble here in may it's one of the altcoins that went hi uh, higher the most 
So we had this little bubble here back in 2015. And look at what happened after this bubble. It went into our market for a year and a half or, or almost two years. Yeah, or like one year and a half into our market. And this bubble was not even as big as this bubble. So after this run here, this bubble here, you can never expect that this is gonna change the trend bounce and go high and, you know, and break the all-time highs. Like forget about that. By probability, it's very, very difficult. Look at this, it went, it went up more than 4,000%. I mean, you got to be crazy to think that this is bouncing and going up again to the all time highs or even or even closer. That's it. Need, the ripple needs to go into a proper bear market, you know, from six months to two years going down like here slowly downtrending for a ve for a very long time. That's I mean, it, this is not going to reverse. I mean, it, I'm, I'm pretty confident uh, in saying that it can bounce and you can have bull traps like here, for example, look at this candle huge candle but it's still it pushed it down the moving averages on the weekly <clears throat> are going to cross bearish here so forget about this thing it's this is not going anywhere for years you might get bull traps like this and if you're able to trade these parts congratulations you can make a lot of money uh percentage wise in these things but in general the general trend this thing has to correct and go into a proper bear market ripple is not going anywhere Let's look at the daily. It just touched moving average and got rejection. Look at this. It had a big jump there. What it it seemed a big jump in the smaller time frames, but in the daily candles, look at this. This is nothing, but of course, because the price is so low in percentage, it went up 40% basically in one day, which is a lot. If you would have been able to trade this to buy the bottom and sell the top, you got a 40% in one day. That's that's great. But the overall picture is downtrending. It, it, it's, you know, there's no evidence that the altcoins are going to uh, start uptrending now. They are going down, most of them. Uh, Ethereum versus the dollar. Uh, I do, let's look at the daily candles. Ethereum versus dollar is still uptrending, but it's, it's slowing down every time more. If you see, I draw these lines. So in May, it went up uh, very vertical, okay, very fast. Uh, it went into a bubble and then it corrected. And then next time that it started uptrending, it went up, but it's lower than this time. If you see this line, it's not as vertical, it's more flat. And then it corrected again, and the next uptrend, it was even more flat. And now it, uh, it broke down and it's going to go even more flat. I mean, it's already going more flat. So it's actually not moving for, it doesn't move from $300 for a long time. So I expect this, uh, this trend to be bro either broken or just following this trend. Uh, the altcoins are bouncing now, but there's no evidence that they're going to start uptrending at all. I think this is only another chance to sell them if you didn't did, if you did, didn't do it before you've got a few chances um to sell your altcoins when they were bouncing uh if you didn't do it i mean you've been losing a lot of money for the past month or so i have been saying for the past month hold only bitcoin bitconnect and now recently bitcoin cash those are the only three that are actually uptrending of course there's some exceptions there uh, you know, among the 2000 altcoins that we have, but they are usually pump and dumps that they don't have a, a stable uptrend. The only three that have stable uptrends now is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash and Bitconnect. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust these altcoins jumping now. There, this is nothing. There is, they have to, they have to bounce because nothing goes in the same direction forever, but the general direction is down. Not because they, they're bouncing now, it means they're going to start uptrending. A double bottom doesn't mean a, uh, a trend reversal. A double bottom only means a bounce with target. It doesn't mean a, a change in the direction of the trend. Uh, so it never means a reversal. Double top, it's not a reversal. It's, it only means a bounce, period. But it's going to continue by probability. <clears throat> the trend is going to continue until it doesn't do it and it changes. But if you look at the big picture, you can see it's 
there's no evidence that this general trend is going to change. So in general, it's uh, Bitcoin is a good hold, but not time to buy. Bitcoin Cash is, I would be buying the dip and holding. Uh, Bitconnect, just like Bitcoin, just hold it. Uh, maybe not buy, maybe now it's time to, to do loans more than staking the coin. And for the, uh, for the general altcoin market, very, very, be very cautious, like cautious because it's now it's bouncing, but by probability it's gonna continue down. I'm gonna leave the video here. Thank you, thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.